this video, uh, we're going to do an assignment where we're going to make a tri-fold brochure like this. It can be a menu or it can be just a product brochure. You can choose what you want to do it on. So basically what a tri-fold is, let me show you one that's already folded. It looks like this. So you have, they call it a tri-fold, even though it's only folded twice, it has three, three panels on it. So three is the tri and it's folded in two places like that. All right, so you're going to design one. I'm going to give you a template and it's going to look something like this. You're going to have a cover page and you're going to have a logo on it. You are going to have six products. You're going to have three on the center panel and three on the right hand side. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So some of the rules for this assignment is that you have to design a logo. You can't just type the words on there so you're gonna to have to make a logo you know it doesn't have to look exactly like that but I don't want anything like I made one brochure showing you a bad example so let me just go over that uh, real quick because this is actually what I get sometimes from people so this would be a bad version of that except for what's on the right hand side here but like I don't want anyone to just type their name of their store or their product and what you need to do is look on the right hand side how everything is neat it's all the same size it's this you know the fonts are easy to read they're uniform they look the same on each each product and um, you know it's organized neatly and a lot of times I get things like the center panel where you can't read the font like it's not standing off the background things are different fonts used in different spots and they're going, you know, over the edge of the lines and things like that. So this is just an example of something I don't want. Please don't just type a word or the title. I want you to actually design a logo. So in the video, I'll show you how I did a logo that's like this, where maybe you can put a picture inside of a shape and how you can arc the text and use layer styles to give it, you know, a little more interest. So I'm going to be giving you, let me see where it is, this. So I'm going to give you a template and you'll use that in the background, but you'll actually put everything over it and you know, you'll cover it up so you won't actually see it, but you can use, use that to kind of guide you where to put everything. And I have this layer here painted blue to show you where the margins are. So a margin is the area where you don't want to have any text. You want to keep that free of any text. If you were actually making this brochure and folding it, you know, you would want the folds to be in between the area where there's no text. So I did it wrong over here on the edge just to show you what I do not want. I don't want any text going over into the margin area. You want to do it like it is here where you're keeping your text inside of the margins. All right, so on mine, I want to show you how to do things really quick and easy. So, where you just design like one area, like this area that I have highlighted, like that, you'll just build one. So, you'll have your title in one font, a picture box, and this text here. And what you'll do is you'll put it in a folder. So, notice how I have this folder here where I have my picture and everything for the product number one. And then you're just going to copy that folder so that you can paste it and just retype the name and re put in the picture. And that way you get everything. It goes a lot quicker when you just do it on one, you know, copy your first one, design your first one, and then copy and paste it six times and then just retype everything. It's a lot quicker than if you just are doing it one at a time. What happens is I get a lot of things that look like this. When people just try to type everything from scratch each time and put a picture in each time it ends up looking really weird like this I mean I'm not saying you would use all these different fonts and stuff but if you just do it like I did on the right where you just have copy and paste each um, product description and picture and then just retype on top of what it is I'll show you how to do it in the video but anyway, that's how I want you to set this up. So it's very important to not skip over the beginning of this video when I show you how to take your template and start to populate it with the products. So you might be thinking when you see mine how I have this square picture and maybe you're going to have a different shape picture. I will be showing you how to make this 
in a square shape or a vertical shape like maybe you want to have a vertical picture if you're doing like skateboards or something like that and you want to have vertical instead of square I don't mind what however you want to lay it out or maybe you'll have a horizontal picture like that or maybe you'll have a square here's two different square layouts I don't mind how how you want to do it as far as using a vertical picture or a horizontal or a square picture as long as when you're making your brochure that you pick one and you copy and paste it so just really quickly I'll show you if you have one uh, section and you want to copy and paste it you just do control J to make a copy and then control T and then you have the extra copy and then we do it again control J control T and you can see how quickly that goes then you can just open it up and you know retype the the name of the product and then click on the text and retype the text paste in a new picture in that same area I'll show you how to do that but basically that is how you're going to design this quickly by just doing one of those sections and then copying and pasting it and repopulating it but I did want you to know that you can use different layouts like if you want to make a vertical or a horizontal or one of these square ones you can lay it out however you want as long as you just copy and paste it um, for the six different boxes alright and let me see what else do I need to go over and on the cover you'll have a logo and then you can just put whatever you want at the bottom you can look for some credit cards if you want or I really don't care what you have on the bottom you know it can be up at it can be up to you what you put on there just don't do this and like leave it blank sometimes I get brochures that actually look this bad where someone just types a logo puts a picture off center and then just leave something blank so just think about if you were if you had a brochure or a menu you know there would be some kind of information like where it is maybe you'd put a website or phone number or something like that on there okay so, all right so the rest of the video I will show you how I made this so the first thing you're gonna do when you start this project is to download this template that I give you and you're gonna build everything on top of it and when you're done you won't see all this anyway so let me show you how to do it so the first thing that you'll do is download this template and open it in Photoshop and some of you are still downloading things wrong where you're dragging it into a window which makes it a smart object I don't want you to do that I want you to press download and then go to Photoshop and say file open and then open your file that way okay the next thing you'll do is get a background you can pick one off pixabay so I have this one downloaded and I want file open to down to open it and then I do control A and then control C and I can close it out and then control V to paste it in and then I can do control T to size it if I want all right so that'll be my background so you see it's gonna cover up all that stuff there anyways but I'm gonna leave it off while I'm doing most of the work and then the first thing that you'll do is you're gonna make one of these little layouts in this one box because like I told you before if you just build one of these boxes you can copy and paste them and then just retype the words in each one it'll go a lot quicker do not skip this step I'm telling you it makes it a lot easier and everything will be more consistent if you do that so let's just take a look at what I already have done here I don't want to type it on the video but you see I um, just type the name of my product and I have the name of my product as a bolder you know bigger colored font that's you know stands out from the rest of the text and then I just have a description when you're typing your words and especially this paragraph that has your description to pay very close attention to the leading which is the space between the lines of text don't forget you can find that by when you click your text tool if you go over to the properties panel you can see that the leading is over here if I hover my mouse over here it says set leading that's the space between the lines so if you don't have properties open you can always go to window and make sure that you have properties open and let me show you how to set that so I have my type set as 14 point type and my leading is 15 so the number should be pretty close to that but you can always change that like some of you you might start typing out 
and maybe you have like too big of a space between there, you can always go back in and try different numbers. You don't want it to get too close together. Like if you had it at 10, you know, I don't want to see anybody do something like this. Make sure that you select all your text there and put it to, you know, space it out really good. I noticed that a lot of times when people make this brochure project, they don't take the time to adjust the leading. All right. And that is something that's on the certification exam. So make sure you pay close attention to checking the spacing between the lines of text there. So when I turn my background on, you can see I have these layer styles on my uh, text here to make it more readable. So if, when you first type it, it might look like that. But I'm going to go in here and show you the effects that I have on. I have a stroke, which is the outline. So I have this white outline going around my text. I have a color overlay, so I turned it from black to purple. And then I have this drop shadow, just to make it pop off the background a little bit. So you can add these layer styles. The way you access layer styles is you can either click on the layer that you want to use and then click effects right here, or you can go to the top and say layer, layer style, and you can see I have chosen stroke, overlay, and drop shadow. So you can choose um, layer styles in either place. So let's do the same thing for my description text. You see it's not very readable at all. I can't read what it says on there. So I'm going to go to layer and choose layer style. And I'm going to choose stroke. So when I outline it in white, it looks a lot better. However, I think I'm going to outline it in black. And then I'm going to change the color of my text. And so if I click on color overlay, it gives me this box here so I can pick another color. Maybe I'll just do something like this. And let's go over here to our price and let's give it a layer style over here and do the same, same one. Although this time on the color overlay, I think I'll change the color to another color. All right, say okay. And let's turn our background on and off. So you can see I have everything, all my text is laid out inside this little box. I'm not going outside the edge into my margins. So that's what I want you to do. And then my little picture that I copied and pasted in here, I'm gonna give this a layer style too. Let me give it a stroke and maybe a drop shadow. And on the drop shadow, I'm just gonna make it a little bit lighter so it's not quite as dark. And let's say OK, and then let's turn our background on. Looks pretty good, but I think I want to change the color of my stroke on that to be white. All right, so when you do yours, you're going to have your title, and you're going to have your description, you're going to have your photo, and you're going to have your price. I want you to put them in a folder. You're going to group them. And this is something that's on the certification exam, so it's good to know how to do this. I'm going to hold my shift key and just click on all these layers. Notice how I'm clicking off to the side. I'm not clicking over here or on anything else. And they're all grayed out. That means they're grouped. So I can do control G or you can go to layer and say group layers, control G. And you can see that it puts it in a folder. So you can call this product one. All right, so now they're all in a folder, and I promise you, you if you do it this way, this is going to make your job a lot easier on this assignment. So we have this one, and we're going to duplicate that. So Control J means duplicate, so you see it made a copy of it. So we can just go over here and call this product two, and then you can do Control T, and if you hold the Shift key while you drag it, it'll stay perfectly in alignment. And then we're going to do the same thing again, control J to duplicate. We'll change it to product three and then do control T and, and hold the shift key and slide it down like that. So notice how we have all three of this row ready to go. Then you can just go back in. Let's go to product two and change the name. So you can call this sad dog and you can go to here's the description and you can highlight this and 
You can say something else about that one. You can change the price. Maybe this one is only $20. And then you want to change the picture. So let's get another dog. Let me show you how to do that. Let's do Control A. Control A to select this dog. Control C. And let's go into our template. And what you want to do is you want that picture to fall in the same place. You can either paste it on top and make it a clipping mask. Let's just do that. If you already have a picture there, let's do Control V and then make sure it's right on top of that other la layer and then you can just say create clipping mask, which you've done that before, and then Control T and just make it smaller and it'll fit right inside that same, same box. Alright, so that's how you can change each one. Then let's close out this product too. Then you can go to product three. Do the same thing. Just go here and highlight the text at the top. And I have no idea what to call these, but just call it something else. And then you can retype the description. And then you can go where it says price. You can change the price to a different price. And you can get another picture and do the same thing. Paste it on top of that picture and then make it a clipping mask and scale it and that makes this a lot quicker so if you do it like I'm showing you where you copy and paste all these boxes not only will all your fonts be consistent and lined up perfectly and it will look really neat but it'll also make it a lot faster for you you can even do this if you hold the shift key and get all three of those you can do control G and say panel two because it's the center panel and then you can do control J again and call this panel three and do control T and hold the shift key and drag those over rename it product four product five product six so you can see how quickly you can make a brochure when you do it that way when you put everything in a folder and you press control J to duplicate it goes a lot quicker. So let's put our background up and see how this is looking. This is looking good. I want to show you how to separate these panels too to have a different color. So if you go over here and where this plus is and add a new layer or you can go to layer, new layer and let's just call it color block and let's put it on top of the background and let's get our selection tool, the rectangular marquee, and let's just draw a box. You can just start up here. As long as you're on that guideline, it will pick up on the edge of the page and snap right in there. And then just fill it with any color. Doesn't matter what color it is, just fill it with whatever color. And then what you can do is go over here where it says normal and you can change, change how it interacts with the layer below it. So let's say I did something like that. If you hate the color, you can just go to Control U, which is hue and saturation, and you can change the color so that it's a completely different color. All right. You can lighten it if you want to. You can darken it. So that's how you can kind of set these panels apart so that they look a little bit different from each other. And you can do the same thing on that side if you want, or just change the center one just so that it sets the, the columns apart. All right, in the next part of the video, I will show you how to do the front of the brochure and make your logo. All right, so I want to show you how you can make a logo. So notice how over here on the cover page, I have a um, picture that's going inside of a circle, and I have like part of the image coming out of the circle a little bit. I use layer styles on the lettering and around that circle just to give it some more interest because I don't want you guys to do anything like this where you just have plain text. So I'm going to create a logo over here on this sample one that I've been using in the video. So let's, the first thing I need to do is I need to make a layer that has a circle on it. So I'm going to go over here and click this plus or you can go to layer new layer and I have a new blank layer and I'm going to get the elliptical marquee tool and I'm going to drag a circle. So I'm going to hold the shift key so that I get a perfect circle. Don't worry if it's not in exactly the right size or space yet. You can move it later and I'm going to fill it with a color and that also doesn't matter what color you have because you're going to be pasting a photo inside of it. 
All right, so you can either go ahead and copy and paste into by let's show, let me show you how to do that. Let's get a picture. I'm going to use this one. Control A to select all, Control C to copy. And let me go to this file. I can go to edit, paste special, paste into. But I just want to show you if you don't have your circle selected anymore, like let's say you unselected it and we're doing something else and you come back to it, you can always go to select load selection to select whatever's on that layer. All right, so we have our circle selected. Then we're going to go to edit, paste special, paste into, and that will paste a copy of our dog into a layer mask now that's the size of that circle. So you can't see it now. It looks like it just turned white, but that's just the background photo. So I'm going to do control T and reduce this picture size. Let me enlarge it a little bit. We'll go something like that. And I'm going to press the check mark. And I'm going to delete this circle now. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. That was just to help us have a layer mask to paste into our dog picture. So what I want to do next is I want to erase part of the layer mask so that the ears are kind of sticking up out of the circle. So if you go over to your layer mask and click on that, if you have properties open, you can always lower the opacity of the layer mask so you can kind of see where the photo below is. I'm going to zoom in here. And by the way, I'm using the space bar to move around and you can use control plus and control minus to zoom in and out. And I'm going to get the eraser. And I definitely need a smaller brush. I have the hardness on zero, I mean on 100, so it's a hard brush. And I'm just going to, oops, I need to paint black, not white, because black makes it transparent. So I want to paint black right here, just so I can have those ears coming out of the circle. All right, and then I can turn the uh, density back up again. So there you go. It just gives it a little bit more interest than having it just in a plain, you know, box or whatever. If you paste it into a shape like that and then maybe take the layer mask and edit it so that part of it's coming out of the circle. All right, so that's how you paste a picture into a shape. Now let me show you how to maybe arc some text over the top of it. So I'm going to get white. And I'm going to get my text tool and just type the words for the title of my store. Happy time. So I'm just going to put happy time there and let me get a different font. All right, that's the one I used on my other one. And I want to arc this text. So notice how it is selected right now. And when the, I have my text tool, and my text selected, I get this little T at the very top with the arc. If I click on that, it opens this window and I can open the style and I can choose arc. And this controls how much the, it bends. So I know you guys did this in one of the assignments in the beginning of the year, but you probably forgot how. And then say OK. Now obviously it's too big, but I can just click on my move tool and which is just like pressing control T and I can scale this to be smaller to fit over the top of my circle like that. All right, and I'm going to press check. And now I want to add some layer styles. So I can either click on the FX at the bottom of my layers tab or go to layer and say layer style and give it maybe a black stroke around the outside. Say OK. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. When you're doing strokes, notice how you can position it to the inside, which that would make it look so you can't see it. You can have it on the center. That looks terrible. I have mine on outside. So if you're having problems with the stroke, make sure you have your position on the outside. And you can control the color of it there and the width of it there. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. 
You can even have two strokes. So if you wanted to add another outline, you can just press this plus and then go on this stroke here, maybe change it to a different color, say OK, and then add another stroke on the outside of it. So you can have a double outline and maybe we'll give it a little drop shadow and make it dark enough to see and make it spread out a little bit more. All right, so you get the general idea. I'm not going to waste too much time on the video explaining how to do, um, you know, keep going with this logo, but that's the general idea on how you can make a logo because I don't want any just plain text. I want you to take the time to, you know, put a picture in a shape or even draw something and have your text have some layer styles and maybe an arc or bend, something with this tool up here. Okay, so when you're done with that, I think I've gone over everything. You should have something that looks like this, where you have your logo, you have the bottom of your page filled out with either a map or contact info, address, website. If you want to find credit card icons, you can just search on Google and find those. You're going to have the right two pan the center panel and the right panel are going to have photos six you know products with photos a title the title should look bolder than the description um, all the text needs to be readable don't have it just fade into your background and uh, you can uh, differentiate your panels by making different colors and things inside the panels so that you can see each one and I think that's pretty much it don't forget to type your name on it when you're done and save a JPEG and put that in your portfolio